Aloha folks, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, uh, you are actually joining me in my studio today. I'm Terry, and we are going to be doing some shoe polishing using some products that you see listed below. I actually am working on these for a client, so I am going. I thought we could do this together because I get a lot of questions about how to polish shoes. So uh, in the list of supplies that you see down below, you're going to see some leather dye, uh, the Angelus leather dye. You're going to see woo, uh, the Money's Worth shoe polish, which is really fantastic, and. Cadillac boot and shoe care is fantastic. I use this in all of my shoe repair. And then we also have some brushes here. And you'll see those listed down below. Horsehair brushes are the ones to get, so we love that. Um, I'm also using some Cadillac uh, dress laces. Now, um, I tried to find you guys something on here and I didn't see the Cadillac brand, uh, so I'm gonna tell you what you need. Uh, we'll review that. And I'm also going to use some uh, latex gloves so I don't get it all over myself. And I am going to wear an apron today because um, I don't want to get this on my clothes because um, I got to save my I Love Shoes shirt. <laughs> okay, thanks for joining me today. This is so awesome. Um, I love that I can do this with you guys because I do this work anyway. Uh, so my name is Terry Edmonds and I own this shoe store called If The Shoe Fits in Maui. I am a cobbler. I'm the only cobbler on the island. And I also have a YouTube channel and you can also find me on Facebook. But I really love doing the Amazon Live. So if you want to follow more of my videos, just click the follow button. All right, let's get going. So uh, this one here, this is kind of fun. It's a little different because I actually just put a sole, a heel and a sole on this shoe. And part of my final services, um, I do this polish. So, there we go. I went ahead, took off the old laces, of course. And I like to do a quick coat of the Cadillac boot and shoe care. I've done on my YouTube channel, I've done a bunch of videos about this Cadillac and it will clean shoes. It also uh, conditions the shoe. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to this guy here. This is actually the same client. And I like to go ahead and just go, it can't hurt any part of the shoe. I could even get it on this part of the leather and it's no problem if it were vinyl. It still wouldn't hurt it. It wouldn't do much good. It really likes the leather. So this isn't, I just like to kind of clean up the shoe with this to get a good start. And isn't that nice? He's going to take these traveling. So this was, I tried to replicate what was on there and uh, he had this gum light which is what it's called and then um, this heel material and both of these i do sell on the soling section of my amazon shopping page all right so he's done let's do this one and you know i think i'm gonna go ahead i'll do this guy like here like that. and Yummy. This shoe is a Vince Camuto, and he's, uh, you know, Vince has got a really nice leather, so it's completely repairable. It has a leather sole. So for you gentlemen out there that are repairing your soles, I like to do a little half sole. The, this half sole came with the Vince Camuto shoe. Um, you know, I've had people say both sides of the fence, they don't like to mess up with the shoe because you have to sand this before you put this on. But you know what, it makes it last longer. And once you wear through the threads on the original shoe, um, it's it just, it, you have to get into the structure of the shoe and why do that, it's not necessary. Okay, so step number two, I'm going to apply this uh, shoe polish. It's basically a cream polish that adds conditioner and a tint to the shoe. You can also buff it, uh, however, um, it doesn't buff as much as shiny as the wax does. So, look at that. I was just going to say, I'm trying to be careful not to get it on that, but I got it on there. 
So I'm actually going to go ahead and sand that off before I uh, finish up because I really want to put, I'm actually going to put a cream, a clear shoe cream. All right. So, you know, I just got a, a, a towel rubbing it in. And it can get your surface dirty, so you know, be sure to take care of the surface that you're you, that you're on. Yeah, see how nice that is. Just gets right in there, and go right around there. So, uh, in future videos, I'll have the chat button activated so that I can hear from you guys. Otherwise, I get a lot of comments on my YouTube channel. My website's terryedmonds.com. You can email me there if you have any questions. Okay, so that was step two. And we're going to go into step three, which is the Lincoln Stain Wax. So this provides the protection so that water kind of drops off of it. Um, so this actually protects the leather. It doesn't nourish it necessarily. So uh, you really want to have that first, but this will protect it and it allows you to get that extra shine. I don't take off the cream polish. I let it just sit in there and hair brush. I have that listed down in the link below if you're uh, watching on Amazon. Uh, so this one is uh, very nice. I think the one that I have on there, um, mine is a star. Star uh, doesn't make them anymore right now, I don't believe. But uh, the Taco, T-A-C-C-O, that's the great brand. And then I haven't tried the one that I listed below, but they're all the same. Good horse hair brush and it'll do the trick. I like mine that is uh, six inches, not eight inches. Uh, the eight inch is a really big brush. It's If I were doing maybe a military boot, I would do the larger brush just to cover more area. But um, so I'm really, I'm getting right into these little areas. That's, it makes a difference. And then one of the tricks with um, brushing is you want to you brush it on and then you lift the brush up and it ends up giving you this kind of friction. So if you've ever seen in the old days when the guy's doing this thing to the boot or the shoe, that's what it's doing. It's creating this friction which kind of heats up the wax and makes it shine. So just give myself a little more room here. <laughs> um, I did a really great uh, in-depth tutorial on my YouTube channel called How to Polish Shoes and it's a it's great and then i also have another one that's one of my better viewed and it's uh how to select shoe polish like the color because um you know colors that get tricky are the neutrals believe it or not uh the browns are easy and the um mahoganies are my favorite such a fun color but it's uh for you gentlemen that are looking for the right mix of color, I usually say a medium brown is great, and then taking your waxes to add the different shade that you'd like. And you know, maybe I'll do that in another video. I'll, I'll show you guys how to do those colors. So, here we go. Very nice. you can see pretty quick and easy builds the muscles all right now for this shoe one of the special things is I'm going to use this neutral and this is completely clear but I want to add color to this you know this is a real design element for the shoe uh, I had the choice to do a neutral or or a, a brown you know but I, I like making it look the way it used to look so I'm just adding in this 
neutral right around this side. They make a, uh, see that's nice, mm, looks good. Uh, they make a product called shoe uh, dressing. I'm sorry, um, what is it? It is, I will think of it. But anyway, and it's meant for the sides here. So I could either, it's like, it's a dye. And I could either dye this brown or I could dye it black and put all the black accessories and the whole thing will look black. But like I said, and this, this guy wasn't specific. He didn't care either way where I went with it. So it was kind of my, my expression. So I decided to do this because I like it. I think it's very cool. And there we go. So it just soaks right on in. My mentor taught me this little trick. So very nice. It kind of deepens the look. You know, it's not too uh, bright and raw, although this is also a great look. And it kind of protects it. So I'm not going to put this uh, wax on. I could, what the heck? Let's just do it. We're here together. Okay, so we're gonna do it. All right, so, very neutral. I hardly ever use this. And with the neutral, I find that um, you kind of wax it off right away because uh, it dries kind of quickly. So anyway, we'll just do this. Um, I do have, I do shoe repair for all, everybody. I mean, you can, if you're on the mainland and you need help with your shoes, you can always go to my website, terryedmonds.com. And I have a, my shoe repair list there and, you know, services. Yeah, I think that's good. And now I'm just going to go ahead and buff it out. Soles are made of a specific leather. It's been treated a certain way. And so they're not susceptible to uh, stuff, you know, leaks and like water and things like that. So I don't have to do this extra step to protect it. it it's, it's a very nice leather to begin with. So... to uh, get in there. Okay, so that's nice. And, you know, you can kind of see the light reflecting on here. It really brings out the color of the wood, so that's fun. Looks nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some laces. So uh, on the back of the box of a shoelace box, it'll tell you how many holes the shoe has, how many eyelets, compared to how many uh, inches you need in the length. Um, I'd say 50-50, that is a good measure. The best way to know what you need for your shoe is to actually measure your original laces, okay? So anyway, I did that with this guy and I knew that he needed that. So we'll just, and this is called casual, this is a casual uh, lace. There are other ones that are even more thin that you can get in leather. I don't have them on there. Maybe when I do a shoe repair supply video, I'll show you guys my favorite choices, but I do a lot of this one because it's a medium weight and it goes dressy and even a little bit casual if you need. So there we go. Wonderful, done. Very nice. I have to do the whole pair, so I'm gonna do the next one again. Actually, let's step off to this one. And, do this one more time. So uh, another thing, like I'm not gonna use this today. I'm gonna use this in my next video about Birkenstocks. And I'm it, his shoe, I think I have it here. Let me show you, hold on. Okay, this is so fun. So here is this 
guy's Birkenstock and I'm going to resole this thing. So uh, part of that is I'm doing a full makeover on it and that'll include the dye. Um, I would only use the dye if you have areas on your shoe like this where the colors just disappeared. You know, it's worn through, it's done. So it really needs a more permanent, and that's what this die is. It's a more permanent fix. Polish is fine. I'm like this guy is kind of borderline, you know, he's looking kind of dry. The color's a little faded. Um, you know what, since we're all here together, what the heck, let's just dye it. Well, maybe not, because we're just gonna polish today. So anyway, let's just see how this guy looks now. Like I say, he's a little bit dry. And we will get that polish right in there. Oh yeah, this is nice. So remember that uh, this Money's Worth conditioner, or the cream, goes on first, and it adds the moisture to the boot. sure does make a shoe look so much better and this will be good because we'll have one with and one without just to see um, so as far as the types of materials see this feels like it's synthetic let me see yeah so this is synthetic right here so it won't do much difference to it but it'll clean it up you know my hands, get my hands in there, clean that up. And get right into that. It helps to clean up around the uh, laces. There we go. Yeah, very nice. This guy's gonna be thrilled. He's a nice guy anyway, so. Nice to do good things for good people. So there we go. Just get right in there. Wonderful. Okay, so that's good. We're gonna go ahead and put on the black Lincoln stain wax next. And this is called a horsehair dauber, okay? And I believe I have them up there. And I have a separate dauber for each of my colors because I'm a professional. I've been doing this for about 20 years. And um, if you're all just, if there's anybody that's just now tuning in, I'm Terry Edmonds. Thanks for joining me today. And I'm in Maui, Hawaii. It's really a beautiful day today. It's a little bit chilly. Boot season for sure. I'm a shoe store. I'm a shoe repair. I design shoes for people. Um, I help people with hard to fit feet. Um, that's kind of where my, my history comes from. Okay, so again, I'm using my horsehair brush. And I can tell because this was on the verge of, it was kind of dry, you know, I thought maybe I should dye it. Um, it will take a little bit more uh, uh, arm power. Oh yeah, but there's a nice shine coming to that. Very nice. So this guy, I changed, I gave him a half sole and a new heel. And it already had this kind of a cool gray line on the middle, so I didn't ink the sides, which I usually do. I wanted to kind of keep it raw again, so it maintains that look to it. It's very cool. This brand is, this is the Althani. So, okay, so let me see what else, what are the questions? colors of leather, uh, the types of leather. Most all leathers can be polished except for suede or any kind of a new book. Uh, that will just completely ruin your shoe, so don't do that. Uh, for something like that, I'm gonna do a video of how to clean suede, and I'm gonna use my suede cleaner. I think I might have put it on the drop down list for you guys right there, but it's called Lincoln Easy Suede Cleaner. And um, I'm going to show you a video on that coming up pretty soon here. Okay, very nice. Uh, you know, we're not looking for a spit shine. 
Okay, this is a shoe repair with a luxury shine. So there we go, right? And it's just uh, definitely holds that shine a lot better. Here's the original. And you know, dyeing probably would really sink into more of the cracks a little bit, but again, that's a whole nother project. So uh, let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna move back to this one because any of you that are just coming on and uh, I have to do this anyway, so um, in case you missed the first part. So really just putting that cream polish right into those cracks there. This is nice, very nice. Um, yeah, so dyeing leather, the conditioning of the leather. Um, another product that I have is called, it's a Cadillac, um, Cadillac, shoot. I'm like, hello, I sell these products all the time. <laughs> I have shelves of them. Uh, but it's a Scotch Guard, basically, and any kind of Scotch Guard would work. But if I chose one from Amazon shopping cart, it would be the Cadillac uh, because that's the best. And let me just, it's Shield. That's what it's called Cadillac Shield. And, uh, you know, later on, I'll load that on this shopping cart because it's a good one. And it can be used on suede and regular leather. So, um,. So again, we've just put the conditioner in with the money's worth black cream polish. And now we're gonna use the Lincoln Black Stain Wax. And this will seal in the cream polish and it allows me to get a bit more of a shine. Um, getting one of these brushes is so worth it. So, so worth it. And then also for the holidays, you know, uh, this is a great gift idea. As a matter of fact, in my store, I have a lot of people that'll buy their dad or their brother or somebody a gift packet, which would be like one blonde brush, the whole, this whole thing right here. But I think instead of the neutral, maybe I would get a brown. I'd go with just a basic brown and a basic brown wax. And that'll cover everybody. And they make a really nice, I have one here that I forgot to put on the table this morning, but I will, I'll bring it out for the next one because I am going to do a mahogany uh, video for you to show you the different colors of brown that you can come up with. It's so awesome. I love it. It's like art. You know, you can, it's so cool. Okay, so now I've got the wax on there. I don't need to let it cure for any amount of time or anything. I'm, actually, it's probably better now because I have noticed that like on the neutral, I like to I like to get at it right away so it doesn't leave white, dry, waxy streaks. Okay, so here we go. And again, gosh, it's so fun to watch that real leather kind of just come shiny and beautiful. So, you know, I love that. I, I don't know how many of you have been to Maui before. Uh, you think there are just a lot of flip-flops here. <laughs> Um, but uh, it's actually there are a lot of uh, there's a lot of well-to-do people which is kind of fun so I get to do Gucci's and Ferragamo's and oh my gosh Vince Camuto's whatever I love doing them and I have a ton of videos about all the different makeovers or resolings that I've done on these high-end shoes um, so I, I love it because this job is definitely art it is so much fun, so if you uh, need help, just let me know. So there we go, really getting in there. Get that tongue in there. And you can even, you know, you can wax, like this is really cool because this shoe is actually stitched down, which means it can be repaired. Um, but this one, it looks like it's a stitch down, but it's a fake stitch down. So once the sole starts to crumble, he won't be able to repair it anymore. But because um, it's still held together, I was able to just sand the half and put a half sole, which is what it's called. It's called a topi half sole. And of course the new heel. So he'll get lots of miles out of that. Um, but this one too. Okay, so what I was saying is um, you can put wax on the laces. It actually kind of protects them a little bit. I'm just being a little careful because I don't want to get brown all over my nice neutral sole that I've got going on there. So 
gonna have to just tough it out. Um, very nice. So some of my favorites to polish, like men's shoes that last a long time, of course, Bostonian, yes. Um, and then of course, uh, Johnson & Murphy is a wonderful brand. I actually have my favorite video on shoe polish is a review of the Johnson & Murphy styles. And I had this client that brought in all of his shoes and wow, it was so fun. I did tan, mahogany, black, brown. It was just really great. So that was super fun. And uh, anyway, I like seeing a well-made shoe. It's hard to see these days. But like, this is another thing that's interesting, a, a men's dress shoe that has a wood sole, I'm oh, sorry, a leather sole, um, can be slippery, it can be hard. So there are different options that you can put on the front, uh, put, add a half sole to it, the front of your shoe, that makes them more cushiony, um, less slippery, and with the holidays coming up, you know, the snow and ice and stuff, that's a great thing. Okay, so we did that one. I can tell the difference already just looking at the nose of this one here versus here. And oh, yeah, let's do the uh, neutral polish around the edges. There we go. I usually have um, a different set of tools for everything. So in my black drawer for the black polish. I have the brushes, the daubers, I have the, the rags that I've used on it. So it's just easy to go to and have access to it all and you know you're not getting the the dark on the light, etc. I'm only doing this for making it easier to show you. Oh my gosh. So we're in my design studio right here, but behind me back here is a full workshop and I really look forward to giving you guys a back of the house tour someday and see what it's like. There we go. Very nice. This is so easy to do. Um, you know, I, I've had a lot of people tell me or you know, older people, I say in their 50s at least, that say that they, when they were young, that they got jobs doing shoe shining. And so uh, it's a good skill, you know, there are people that are developed into good human beings that have jobs. So it's a good skill to teach your kids is what I'm trying to say. And so here we go. And I also did a, a cobbler masterclass at home series. And there is a full masterclass on polishing shoes, cleaning and polishing shoes, because, uh, you know, maybe some people want to change their career. I love what I do now. And uh, make a little buck or two. So that's where I was going with that. Okay, this is really great. So, I'm gonna go ahead and dress with the laces. Hey, I see people are commenting. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see that far, but I am going to read your comments and be so excited to hear from you. And I am going to get a way to chat with you and hook up this whole system. It's a little techie, um, but it's gonna happen. I'm gonna have an overhead camera for you guys to get close-up shots, and I'll be able to chat with you directly. And I see a great emoji. Hi, whoever just sent that. Oh, it gives me chicken skin. Thank you. All right, so I'm not alone, I love it. Okay, so again, we're using, as a reminder, the Cadillac uh, Casual Dress Laces in black. And for this shoe, it had one, two, three holes. The back said uh, three to four uh, eyelets should be 24 inches. But I actually am using a 27 inch lace on here. And as you can see, there is not a lot left over. So this kind of goes back to that point, really measure your laces. There we go, very nice. And I think that's about as long as you want them. You know, you don't want them flapping around. Some people like to do a double knot, so you, if you do that, maybe go with a 30 inch. Okay, now just, you know, I'm professional, but I have for curiosity, I just have to say hi to everybody that's checking in. Hey, hi, hi. Okay, so here we go. Let's do this one now. Here we 
we go. So let's really, I'm letting this one really soak in because this leather's dry. Okay, so again, I can tell this is the synthetic, but I'm gonna do all the edges. And for you guys that are really detail oriented, I like to do the edges up here because believe it or not, it's, it makes a difference. You can, I mean, it's so hard to tell from the distance that we're looking at right now, but um, this definitely, it makes a difference, especially if the gentleman's looking down at the shoe, just has a much cleaner profile. And if you're gonna do all this work, do it right. Okay, so here we go. And I think the prices, you know, for any of these, getting your own home kit, it's so affordable. Uh, what do I charge at my store? I'm like 20 to $30, depending on the detail. If I'm gonna dye your shoe, it's $40. And of course, prices could change at any time. But, uh, to buy it all, I think, you know, in my store, I sell retail like $9.95, you're looking at like $10, maybe $13, something like that. So I think Amazon's prices beat that, um, they usually do. And so just, you could probably have a basic kit for less, you know, about $50 or so. So you notice I didn't take off the cream polish. I just let it sit in there and I'm putting this uh, wax again, the Lincoln Stain Wax is going right on top. Perfect, this is great. So, you know, doing stuff like this really can make your stuff last, especially if you're investing in those good brands. And I, you know, I'm kind of speaking to the choir because I know that if you're buying nice shoes, you know how to take care of them. So uh, the Lincoln Stain Wax is one of the best ever. It's one of the best. Uh, Shinola is another one that's a great brand, a little harder to find. And you can't find the, the Lincoln Stain Wax like it over the counter really so much like you can get a kiwi but i prefer the lincoln brand if you can get it it's just a better quality and my mentor told me buy the best because it makes a difference especially to your savvy consumer very nice there we go and so we are all set. We have finished doing two complete shoe shines together. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Woohoo! And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys again. Saturday we're doing shoe stretching. So join me with that and I'll see you guys then. Aloha!